turn left at 3rd Street. Did he call you Lori? He he called me Lori? Yeah, I think I got that. After all the things we do for him. Like, I know. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> the show's 105 minutes ago, though. Okay. Enjoy the show. Thanks. There's two. Okay. And you're going to be in the doors behind me to your left. So here's a classic ACT shot, Clint going to the restroom. <laughs> so this is a production that Karen Furloff has done with the Stratford Shakespeare Theater uh, Festival up in Canada. Uh, and this Phaedra is a French tragedy. And it's about a woman who is involved, obviously, with her husband, who's a king, but also his son, so um, who's a younger um, gentleman that the king had had with a previous lover. <laughs> so quite an interesting love triangle. Right. And like a lot of things in life, when you have this type of love triangle, it never ends off pretty. I mean, just ask Tiger Woods. So, Who? Tiger Woods. Oh. <laughs> okay, so, so you, you, you brought Tiger Woods into the Phaedra. It's what everyone's yeah. talking about, so sorry. I had to bring that in. I'm going to read I one highlighted of those lines one of them, it was so good. Because I could have come up with better stuff. No, um, we need these writers on Stark Silver Creek, this kind of writing. Yes. It's too clever and creative. So, Phaedra is a French classical play that makes reference to ancient Greek characters and gods. Here's the quote It lives in a kind of timeless erotic zone. A kind of timeless erotic zone. Yes. You know, the kind of timeless erotic zone we're all so used to. Is that like an erotic encounter that, that is sort of lasts forever, or is it something, I guess... It's well, kind of, kind of like an erotic timeless zone. It's kind of. <laughs> I know, it sounds good. I like it. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. It's, you know uh, what, it'd be like a lipstick color, timeless erotic zone right. color. It's you know? uh, um, very colorful color. writing. The other part I like is that playing space in a dangerous crossroads, oh. a magnet where violently, violently opposed characters right. collide and erupt. Shauna McKenna, right. who plays Fender. According to the National Post, she holds a uh, Canadian patent on Greek tragedy. Are you reading it? So the first, so the number three is Joan of Arc. So Joan of Arc died on a um, uh, cross or whatever. Really? For, on a yeah. cross? Yeah. Okay. Right. Is that true? I'm sure that's on Jesus? For stake. She died on a stake. <laughs> Either one. You know, we're, we we're, need better background research assistants. We're only half as smart, so, you know. Right. This is the twice as fun part. Yes, this is twice as fun. And then, um, Medea. Oh, and yeah. number one, okay, I know this one, Juliet. So, uh -huh. Romeo and Juliet, so the whole love and death tag. But number 11 is Phaedra. I feel better now. Um, but anyway, oh, so. Phaedra. Phaedra. Doesn't that sound like a perfume? I tweeted that. It sounds like a French perfume. Potent mix of visceral sexuality and rich poetry. So, with all this visceral sexuality, yes. um, characters colliding. Well, I gotta come out perspiring, probably. Action. I get nervous with these. I get nervous a little bit. You know, it's like basic instinct for the stage, maybe. I get nervous with these kind of things on the stage. Well. Because I don't know if they always work or not. The thing is, there's no intermission, so we're not gonna give you a intermission oh, no. little take on it. We're just gonna be in there um, watching uh, characters collide and hope that we're not colliding as well as this. So let's go in and check it out. You check in with Foursquare? Yes, checking into Foursquare. I got seven points. Well, why'd you get so many points? Why'd you get so many points for checking in? Um, it's my first time checking in to Foursquare. They're not first time here, but first time checking in, and then two points for travel bonus. <laughs> well, I should get the bonus. I drove. And Kelsey P is the mayor. So huh. she's the mayor of um, ACT. Hey, check it out, Lonnie. I just became the mayor of uh, ACT. That's so not fair. Plus one for the droid again. So Clay, you gotta turn off the cameras. So we just finished Pedro. 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 Classy show. Yes. Yeah.
Yeah. Wow, what an interesting yeah. plot. Right. I don't think Shakespeare even could come up with something better than this. Uh, it's uh, very elegant, I have to say. And it had a range of uh, emotions. Just, uh, very interesting. That, that to me is a, is a classic evening of theater in, in San Francisco, you know. Don't I you think? I thought the costumes were beautiful. And then also um, the fact that her stepson, who she was in love with, um, was in love with his mother. So there was actually a couple of right. um, sort of cross, star cross lovers in this whole thing. You know, one of the things I liked about it is that there was no set changes. There's no intermission. Yes. There's no movement or emotion on the stage. So it's just purely the dialogue and the acting, which is very strong. And, and the, the poetry-like language. Yes, who was uh, um, Shauna? She was fabulous. I could see down why she did oh, yeah. all of the um, all of the accolades. Roles. Right. And she's Canadian. Yay, yeah, I know. Canada. That's my first time seeing her perform. And what a treat. You know what? That was a role that they had to cast right because everything well, she comes anchors on it. her. And she had such mixed emotion and dynamic, very complex character. I know, this is going to be another Anderson moment. Oh, boy. Oh, we love, oh we love crap. We love okay. can't get here. Weather for this kind of show, for yes. Phaedra. The storms, the clouds, the rain. <laughs> it's, it's something that brings you sexuality. Well, that's what I liked about it. So it's through the language. Yes. Oh, you mean like there's no physical? No. Not like Avenue Q. Or well, it makes Avenue Q like, like <laughs> what it is, which is, you know... It's a little sophomoric. That's okay. Guilty pleasure. So as always, you'll hear more about what we think of Phaedra here at The Act. It is the world premiere of this play, all on Stark Silver Creek. What would you get me if you were a rich man? What do you mean? You have everything you need and want. <laughs> and more. Uh, 